Hello fellow programmers, my name is Pavel and I am here with a C++ exercise uh, where we will be calculating present value uh, which is a financial calculations. Uh, basically the assignment says suppose you want to deposit a certain amount of money into a savings account and then leave it alone to draw interest for the next 10 years. At the end of 10 years you would like to have $10,000 in the account how much you would need to deposit to make that happen. Uh, in other words, you know, year by year you would accumulate a certain percentage of interest. So uh, you may need to deposit, I don't know, $9,000 or something today in order to have $10,000 in five years, in 10 years. It, it all depends on the interest that you would accumulate. Anyway, there's a formula for that. And so it's P, which is the present value, or the amount that you need to deposit today, equals to F, which is the future value that you want in the account. In the example above, it was $10,000 that we wanted. Over 1 plus R, and R is the interest rate, and 1 plus R to the power of N, and N is the number of years, so you know, it would be 10 years in the example above. Now we have to write a program that has a function named present value that performs this calculation. And uh, the function should uh, accept the future value, annual interest rate, and number of years in the arguments. And it should return the present value, which is the amount that you need to deposit today. And we need to demonstrate a function in a program that lets the user experiment with different values. In other words, we will be collecting the input from the user. Uh, all right, so um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, first thing I know I will be needing, uh, I need to include the uh, math header because we'll be doing some uh, mathematical calculation. And since we are going to need some input from the user, I'll also include uh, manip. So uh, I think that's uh, all that we need as for the libraries. And um, all right, the first thing, I'm gonna define a prototype. And uh, the prototype, it's supposed to return the present value, which will be double because it could be, you know, decimal uh, number. Uh, they want us to call the function present value. And it accepts, uh, it accepts uh, it will, a double and another double and an integer. Integer would be would be the years. If you look at it, it's supposed to accept the future future value, which is uh, a double, the interest rate, which is double, and n, which is the number of the years. Okay, so uh, now we have the prototype. We can uh, as well do the function. Uh, because it's going to be very simple uh, and the function will uh, what was the uh, it will accept the f r and uh, lowercase n so double f double r and double n so those those are the arguments that the function accepts and um we need to define the uh, present value, so I can as well do it here, uh, which is going to be a double P, that's the present value, and P equals to, according to the function, it equals to F over, and uh, remember there was a power of uh, 1 plus R to the power of N, so uh, we need to use the power and it's going to be 1 plus uh, r and to the power, uh, missing some brackets I think, to the power of n. Uh, that might be alright. Okay, so, um, and we will return the present value. Now, in order for us to use it, we have to go to our main method. And we need to 
define uh, some values again. Uh, let's say a future value. And this is a double, could be a float maybe, eh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, let's do a double since I already defined it as double before uh, in the function. So, and double, you know what, let me just name them the same. This is the future value, just f, double the interest, which is uh, r. I'll initialize it to zero. So let me just do this interest rate. And this is a future uh, value. And uh, integer n, which is the years. So number, oops, number of years. Okay, so and uh, we define also our present value, which will be calculated in the function. So uh, double p equals zero as well. Now we're going to ask the user for some uh, input. Let me just move this down so you can see better. All right, so the input will be quite simple, just a bunch of uh, C out statements. Uh, please enter the amount of m money you want to save. And it's gonna be a dollar amount, so I'll just enter dollar right there. And uh, we will accept the amount into our uh, F, that's the future value that we wanna save. In the example that I read at the beginning, it was $10,000. Now we will ask, uh, please enter the interest rate. And that's going to be uh, stored in our variable R. And finally, we need uh, the number of years. So please enter number of years you want to be saving and again this is an integer and it's going to be stored in uh, our variable n so now the user entered all the information we needed and now we can simply go and define our present value which is p equals to whatever is returned from this function so it simply will call the function and we will pass all the arguments, so it's f, r, and n. It accepts f, r, and n, performs the calculations, and returns the present value, which is then stored in our variable p. So now we can do c out. I'll start a new line, and something like uh, in order to save and we are saving the uh, we are, that's the future value so that's gonna be our f so in order to save uh, f amount of money uh, you need to deposit and that's the p which is the present value that's what we need to deposit so we will add p and end of line okay so uh let's see if this is going to going to work uh actually, this is capital r for some reason it's supposed to be r that's the interest rate oh you know what this is a uh, Good thing I know this because this is an interest rate. You know, if you enter five, we're not going to be one plus five. Five percent equals actually zero point zero five, right? So uh, we have to multiply it times zero point zero one to make it a percentage, and that will return uh, the zero point zero five. So in other words, five multiplied by zero point zero one will return 0 0.05, which equals to 5%. All right, let's see if I made any mistakes, if it's gonna build, and it's not, 
because I forgot a semicolon right there. All right, let's try it again. And something's wrong here. Let me just read the message. I have some uh, some kind of a string problem here. The how the way it concatenates. And I think I just forgot this in front of F, of course. And finally, uh, something else wrong. Uh, I have the br uh, brackets wrong, the parentheses. One, two, three, one, two, and of course I need the third one. Yeah, so this is the power of two power, and that's the final one. So let's try one more time. It should be the last one. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> All right. So uh, undefined reference to present value. That's because present value, present value. Uh, let me see. I have this one correct. And N. Oh, it's double, double. Yeah, it says uh, double double integer, and I have it double double, and one more double. The number of years is of course integer. Okay, and we got a build. So now let's just see if it actually works. So let's I I want to say ten thousand dollars, like they wanted us. Uh, let's say I have a five percent interest rate, and I want to be saving for ten years. So in order to save ten thousand dollars, you need to deposit. Six thousand one hundred and thirty-nine dollars. Right now, let it sit for ten years, and the accumulated interest would be close to four thousand dollars within ten years. I mean, within four, yeah, within ten years. So uh, let's me let me try. What if I want to say save thousand dollars with five percent interest rate, and I want to save it within one year? then I have to deposit pretty much everything right away because obviously the interest would be accumulated at the end at the end of the year so uh, one more try uh, I want ten I mean thousand dollars I want five percent and I want it in uh, you know what before I think I entered 0 0.5 or something like that so let's try one more time yeah so if I want it in one year it, at five percent the uh, I need to deposit today $952 and I get $48 of interest rate in a year. Yay. Okay, so uh, anyway, this is the uh, this is the whole program. You know, we ask the user to enter all the numbers. The we are passing it uh, all the all the amounts that the user entered uh, into our present value function. We perform the calculation over here since we are entering a whole number for the interest rate like five six or seven percent we need to multiply the number uh, by 0 0.01 to get it uh, into the correct format or the correct percentage format and when, after the calculation is performed it is returned and stored in our variable p which represents the present value and then we will simply output c out uh, you know in order to save X amount of uh, money, you need to deposit Y amount of money today. All right, so uh, there you have it. It was fairly straightforward. Still, I hope it helped you, and I will see you next time. Take care.